got my remote start back. Chick-fil-A, really? slide you got that thing nice it's nice and toasty here well this thing literally in climate control rules you can set it heated seats below any specific temperature you like I just chose 60 because that's when I feel like I want it on uh, okay. you can play with the individual levels you want them on high low I'm a low kind of guy and uh, heated steering wheel boom on below 60 voila we got the nice heated steering wheel Every time it's below 60 degrees, automatic. This thing is dope. And even furthermore, you dig into seat heating distribution, you got if you want more of the back to get heated or more of the ass to get heated. Like this thing right here is no freaking joke for both the driver and the passenger. So many more different things in here. This one always pissed me off, this temperature adjustment. I figured temperature adjustment was this right here, but it's a whole whole thing that BMW got going on. Second row of seats. You got them back there too. Voila. Got them back here too. Uh, it's just crazy. It's crazy. You disable controller. I don't have no one sitting back there anyway, so it don't matter. But there's so many features in this thing, man. Found this little dope fall foliage looking spot. I'm gonna grab some pics with the iPhone for Instagram. And maybe a couple reels. And, uh, the thumbnail for this video, potentially. One of the tricks that I use, I enable like this raw thing to get a little bit better at the photos, but you gotta kinda sorta know what you're doing because it'll it'll screw some stuff up. All right, it'll be like, it'll be too, uh, too bright, too dark sometimes, but you can get that. Oh, it's that right there. I figure, I ain't really got a video to talk about too much today, so I figure I'd just bring you guys along. Got a couple things I gotta do. And I want to show you guys how I make reels or make money from an M4. As in the past few months, I know I kind of had this car, not even a year yet, but anyway, the past few months, uh, Instagram hit me up and they asked me if I wanted to make reels for money. <clears throat> now, if you ask me, I'd say it's a dope opportunity. You can make a couple dollars to go towards anything just by taking a couple minutes out of your day to chop up a reel. And you know, these things are so simple. Majority of the time, the reels that blow up, you're just following the trend. So it doesn't really even take that much brain or activity anyway, at least not as much as YouTube, if you ask me. One thing I noticed with Instagram, the first $100, $150 is like the easiest to get. And then after that, you kind of pull serious, serious amounts of numbers. Every single month that I was enrolled in it, I, I've hit a minimum of like 150 bucks. Then there's some months where I hit like 500. The amount of work is way more than five times the amount to get to $500 from 100 if I'm making any sense to you guys. I'd say do what you like to do or make reels of what you like to do. Definitely don't make it a chore or a job. Listen, if you wake up, jump out your bed with the idea that I'm gonna make a reel and you go somewhere, from my personal experience, it gets tiring if the reward isn't that great uh, coming from Instagram. You understand what I'm saying? It just gets kind of tiring because you don't wanna go way out here, spend money on gas, you know, the risk of something happens to your car just for a reel. Like, Unless you guys like clout and you want to blow up, but that's not the video for this because I don't really care about clout anyway. Me personally, I love the way I implement it into my life because at any given time, I might just go, yo, this car looks so sick. It looks so sexy. Let me get the camera out. And then that's how I make a reel. And it's all dependent on how I feel. You know what I'm saying? So I never really see it as work. And then I might drive a park up for like 10, 15 minutes, chop up a quick reel and boom. There you go. Jeez, I'm in this dude's way. Hopefully he's not making a right turn. Yo, what the hell? Oh no, I got enough room, I'm bugging. It's like crazy over here. Woo -hoo, good thing my intake's a little high up. Oh yeah, I'm good. Just splashing it. That's the Porsche Cayman. I, have, I love those cars. They came, they are a little small. 
but I'd love to build one one day because I know exactly what I would do with them. I remember when I was interested in that car, and I'm talking about the base model 2.0 four banger. You know, just give me 350 wheel in that thing, maybe 400 on a good day. Um, super light. Maybe I just trade this in while I'm waiting for the extra to pick up a Cayman. You know, just that they, they were they were like 40, 45 grand when I was looking at them. Now the similar ones they have available like sixty thousand dollars. So it's like that's pretty steep if you ask me for a freaking base model Cayman. Although I can make it look real nice. You know? But yeah, in all reality, and use your friends or your girlfriends or whatever to your advantage. Yeah, and um, this thing, yeah, this thing is slippery, boy. It gets slippery. I be busy, you know. I got a lot of shit I gotta do, and I make content. So sometimes we hang out. I might just stop for a second, like, yo, let me go film this car. Let me go do this. Or opportunity might arise. They understand shit. They might come along, even help me. I got a bunch of my friends that help me either film videos or like help me film reels or whatever. So like. Yo, shout out to you, friends, girlfriends, everybody, because you gonna need them. And I think that's what makes it a little bit more natural. When you go out with your mind set on making a reel, it could get a little boring, get a little, rep a little repetitive sometimes. You know, not everyone's gonna be a millionaire off of TikTok. Not everyone's gonna be a millionaire off of YouTube and Instagram, you know? Uh, for most of us, it's just a good way to express ourselves and be compensated for it as well, you know? And for me, Anywhere from, you know, 100 to 200 bucks on, on Instagram works, you know, because I've worked to get 500 and I thought, oh, let's make reels and I go out and I burn gas. And it's just, there's just so many different things that play, you know, that kind of doesn't make any sense just for like a reel, you know, I, if I'm for me, uh, you know, I just wanted to give you guys that thought for me. I don't know. I got to go head out. I'm going to go pick up the uh, passenger princess. We're gonna go for a drive and probably slide a little bit. You know, just chill with Mike today. We'll see how that works. She don't even know. I can tell she don't know. Look how she coming out. Oh yeah, she has no clue. What's up? This is my Uber. Here what? Go. What? Here oh my go. goodness, what? What? Why are you putting on lip gloss? <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> Why are you putting on lip gloss? Okay, hold my phone. Mm -hmm. My lips are dry. I'm just going to the store. It's wet, so. I didn't know it was, um. You didn't know it was what? Man. Yeah. I figured you knew. That's why I thought you were taking long and you're going to put some baggy shit on. No. I had on a shirt and I with my jean jacket. Glasses. Nothing, I'm just saying. Stop trying to get stop trying to get photo ready. What are you doing? Yo, you Is got the on? bang out. The bang you trying to, You don't want nobody to see that forehead. <laughs> don't worry, nobody watches my videos. I got like five videos. Yeah. Put your glasses on, yo. You try, you blind out here just to try to look good. I can see. Nah, you good. You good. Don't worry about it. I can see. Put your glasses on. I gotta get the rain off my glasses. I'm trying to be. I'm trying it. to look cool. <laughs> I'm with the cool gang. Yeah, right. Who? You. I'm with the cool gang. I gotta, I gotta fit in. What you talking about? <laughs> you old lady. Ooh, that's nice. That's a uh, the M3. That one's nice. This is an M4, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. It's the only difference is the M3 is a sedan, and it's crazy because in the beginning, mm -hmm. like this costs more than like buying it brand new. Mm -hmm. This is more than the M3. Mm -hmm. 
Really? But somehow, when, when you're buying them used, well, F80, the older generation. Okay. The M3s were always selling for more. So it's weird. Brand new, the coupes are more, but used, the sedans are like, they hold their value better. Huh. Yeah, I guess they're more practical. It's true, though. I'll true. Show you cut could... this guy off. Go ahead. This guy, though? Yeah. So when I see people drifting like that, they doing it on purpose? Sometimes, yeah. Most times. Most times, yeah. Sometimes, Like when they no. slide up. Let me it depends. Like, it depends on the situation. I know what happens to me on an accident sometimes. But it's only when I forget to have traction on. With traction on, you could nail a car and nothing's going to happen. Really? Yeah. Like, I'm going to just turn traction back on. No, you don't have to. Traction's on. I could floor it. It may shift a little bit, but other than that, huh. it's not gonna, uh, it's not that bad. Like, I'll show you. No, you don't have to, I believe you. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, bro. No, I wouldn't. Look, look, look. Floored it. You see the traction light just on all the time? Yeah, but it'll yeah. hook, it'll hook straight. But the traction light just flashes. Uh -huh. BMW traction's good, though, because it didn't feel like it was, like, bucking or yeah, cutting no, power. Yeah, no, it didn't. Hey, you stupid. Alright, let's go. Oh shit, let me turn this off. 